Okay, now to send Orima on the noble journey of hoping that, um, that those Pikmin, I don't know where they are, aren't dead. I think they're stuck in that grate, um, and hoping that Olimar alone can reach the... That's the hole, isn't it? It is in the water-only area, isn't it? I'm going to have... <sighs> okay, I am brave and foolhardy. No, I'm not. I lied. I'm sorry. Are those other two? Yep, they are definitely stuck up there. One... Blue, two. <sighs> this is not a very well thought out cave. I guess I'll go take some corpses while that happens. Uh... Yeah, not much else I can do. I would skip it, but I... I don't know, I went too long without talking, and I feel lonely if I'm not talking to myself. I'm also a little too drowsy to try to navigate through the menus and hope I don't delete anything important and whatnot, because my current setup, while no longer as bad as I had been complaining for some time, is at the very least a tiny bit convoluted, and I am apparently 80% done with the debt. That doesn't really matter to the actual game, and these guys should be done very soon. That's a bit weird how you, uh, how they're like sort of in anti-space, and how they're like tiled labyrinths underground, but I guess if this is like a pool, that could be the secret underground layers of the pool. They have those, right? So man, I'm expecting the boss to be very soon. I just didn't remember this being anywhere as long as it is. Oh, this clearly is not the final floor, as it did not say final floor. Oh, bleh. Purple? Why do you switch to white all the time? Nope. Do not approve. Yes, call me, um, perfectionist, because, I mean, I've pretty much done a no-death run. No death of purple or white, unless it was like one or two, and I didn't really care at the time, but... Yeah, it wasn't very many, but it was also very easily avoidable. Um, it was mostly just a glitch with them being leaves, due to that stupid blowhog throwing off my plans. Also, I'm pretty sure if you blow off the petals of flower, it doesn't turn into leaf, but I will suspend my disbelief. Yeah, that's gonna be the name of this part. Suspended disbelief. Oh, it's red. Good job distracting it, I guess. Good job somehow pounding it. Oops. Oh, you broke Louie. I'm gonna have to buy another one. Don't break Louie. It's expensive. He's worth his weight in gold. Wink. What is that? Is that a lapis lazuli candy pop? No, it is a bottle cap. So these are the black doors that are like really easy to break down, or maybe actually I just have large forces attacking them, but I don't know, I'm surprised I got those down as fast as I- AH! Freak me out! I think in my main file those are the only Pikmin that have ever died of poison from one of those farting bugs when I wasn't paying attention. Well, they're called doodle bugs, but they're kind of clearly farting. Hopefully it doesn't get angry at my Pikmin, because I want flower Pikmin more than I want live Pikmin. I did not know they could spawn three, um... No, that's mine. Yeah, they're kind of hard to hit, but that one wasn't. I don't think any have actually successfully been provoked to attack in this run so far, which isn't really a bad thing. 
Man, this cave just keeps going on and on, even though it's not very long. I just remembered it being short, because I did it when I was a kid and wasn't recording, I guess. So, anyway, um, since I'm basically just hunting enemies right now, I'm going to talk about YouTube-based things, which are kind of Let's Plays, like... Oh dear. Yeah, I can't say dwarf ball borbs are a very bad enemy. They are quite kawaii and um, take way too long to chew to be a major threat if you have a serious Pikmin Force. And if you don't have a serious Pikmin Force, you are basically asking to die. And I really hope I don't have. An, I really hope I'm not going to end up with not enough blues and have to come back. And I'm pretty sure that's the bloody case. Oh eight. That that's a lot lighter than it should be, I think. Rip. I don't know. Rubber ducks aren't really known for being overly heavy, but... That just seemed like something of that size would be more heavy, even if it wouldn't make logical sense. It would at least make size a sense. Olimar doesn't expect it to be hollow. Like, I still think the frigging... Uh, Globes would probably be hollow and light, but I guess not if you're stuffing them full of microchips. What is that rubber ugly looking at? And it's not really ugly. Uh, Walmart, you don't know anything. How can you call Kawhi Little Ducky ugly? Okay, you can take that. I will not stop you. I just need to get some well deserved revenge on those guys. They think they're the only ones who can jump and be unfair. Is that a treasure in there? No, that is a volatile dweeble. Oh, duh. I hope those freaking... Oh, okay, that was a jaw. I did not think that was a jaw. I really hope that freaking volatile dweevil doesn't blow anything up. Oh, what, what die? Oh, purples. Duh. Hopefully this level respawns in a less dumb way. Was that the second time I had to restart this freaking sub level I'm I don't I wish I remembered when I started this because I'm I I should start it over if I did not actually successfully do it at least once but no while I'm console let's playing I can't really be bothered to make this efficient I mean like Super Mario World that was gonna be a pretty short let's play no matter what I did so I took the liberty of editing out boring parts or bo parts where I lost audio but this ah uh, it's pretty much just Berserker it, as I've been calling it. Well, Berserker is what I was using to refer to, um, just recording them in a huge, huge segment and cutting up later, uh, but, or, like, just making them and sticking them together and hoping there's no huge things I might want to edit out, but no, I'm not gonna be... I guess I could actually speed this up if it's terribly boring, and I really accomplished nothing, but... Like I said, in a console let's play like this, uh, you're gonna have to... Or a console let's play of a long game like this, you're gonna have to, uh... Take a couple parts like this now and again. I will not feel offended if you skip past them until you can see the point at which, um... I get past the part I'm taking too long on, uh, but I'm not gonna edit it out because I'm, as far as I can tell, I'm not delirious or anything. I'm having mostly sensible commentary. That's rare enough as it is. I wish I had my, I wish it wouldn't always switch to white, but if it has to, I guess it has to. Oh good, the, I do not have to explore back. And that looks like a donut a lot more than it looks like a jaw. I guess that's a bad thing to mistake one thing for another for. If you're going to mistake one thing for another, rather mistake like a bagel for a donut and be a little freaked out when it doesn't taste sweet than mistake a jaw for a donut and then be freaked out when it is a jaw. Anyway, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to... I'm holding down the C stick and the control stick and... Hoping I can save my Pikmin. Yes, I can. Screw you. 
Okay, hopefully the Volatile Dweevil will not be spawned and... Hmm. I am running out of time. I didn't really accomplish much this part. I apologize. Like I said, if you ever get a feeling a part's just gonna rattle on like this, I take no offense and I recommend you just skip past any part that's boring. I'm not... I'm generally not gonna have any super hilarious commentaries going on and whatever part I'm doing over again. If I have a super hilarious insight, I'll probably say it the first time. And there's another treasure here, but we'll get that next time, and... Yep. Mm, smell you later. Unnecessary silence during pauses. Okay, my Pikmin are over there. Okay, well, anyway, yeah, I would like to finish this up and get to sleep sometime, so I probably should not go on, like, 30-second rants at the end of every video when I'm just trying to say, okay, the video's over, but I can't come up with a really good way of ending it, so whatever.